Some dude saw that pie and was like, I'm going to do it <laughs> respectfully. Yeah. Peaches and cream. 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 <laughs> are we in? We are in. We're. This is a podcast. Whoa, this is a podcast. We were supposed to have a guest today, but we don't. That's, and that's okay. fine. That's fine. That's okay. You know what? Because we are the guest. That's what I'm just going to say. We're the guest for them, and they're the guest for us. Dude, my guest is you, and your guest what is, is me. What is guest of honor? Who's the guest of honor? What does that mean? What's a bridesmaid? Maid of honor? Is a bridesmaid? That's too much. A bride this is the maid of honor. Is it? She sucked off Jeremy at a Wawa, and now they're getting married. And I watched it. Dude, hold on. The the bridesmaid. Who's the the main lady? Why, the bridesmaid. The, the thing? terms for women in the wedding is so much cooler than like. What do we get? Best man. I'm not the best man. The best like, man. Bitch works at Best Buy. I mean, I'll be the best man at my at my uh, brother's uh, excuse me, funeral. Jesus Christ, saddest thing I ever said. At my brother's wedding, but like, I'm not the best man in the room. Dude, there's a lot of shit that comes with it. My friend literally asked me. He goes, hey. You are in my heart my best man, but you're very busy, and I want this to be planned good. Do you want to do like a joint best man, joint no. custody best man? No, I do. Oh, you do? Because now, all the pressure, the other guy planned the bachelor party. I'm like, cool. You plan the bachelor party, I'll DM a club or two. We're fucking cooking. Yeah. But I don't want to coordinate and do the group chat. and the, We're doing this, we're doing yeah. that. Like, I was like, you do the admin shit, I'll do the fucking PR. That's how I feel about my own wedding. What about it? I don't want to do anything. That soon? I will, you love I'll, her that much? I'll DM. Michael's a girlfriend. I'm sick of it. You're in love. <laughs> Why are you so mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm just, I'm just, you brought it up. I didn't bring it up. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, Bro's I'm just, in love. I am in love. Look at how he's sitting. I always sit like this. He's ready. You don't pay attention to me. When? I love you. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to ask me to marry you, and it never came about. Dude, what is it about scenes in a movie when it's raining, and then they start kissing, and you're like, this is so much better than a normal kiss? It is, because it's all wet. Yeah, get inside. Yeah, I mean, honestly, get a fucking umbrella, you poor motherfuckers. You know that stupid idiot uh, uh, notebook when he's in, the, he's in the rowboat and it starts raining? Get Dude, inside. here's the thing. We were in a rowboat in Amsterdam, and it was raining. It's not pleasant. Not it sucks. Not any of that was it's like, cold. time to fucking tongue down Gabe. Yeah, I would. Hottest eyes in the game. I miss what, Amsterdam. What I'm, ugh, I don't at all. Zero part of me. Amsterdam was the fucking worst trip. I love you guys so much, and I would go back just with you guys. But can we go somewhere else like Temecula? I would go anywhere else. Temecula. I go to my own room with you guys over Amsterdam. Hate it. Sick of it. What I was gonna say is, if you're the best man, you're gonna co best man. So all you gotta do is like DM some clubs, which is very important as well. Yeah. What I'm saying is, with my own wedding, I want to do that. I just want to be the co. I don't want to do anything. I'm not good at planning stuff. No, you, wait, hold on. What? I'm just saying, like the best man plans everything. You wouldn't have to do anything. No, no. What I'm saying, my the wedding part. Where are we gonna get it? What uh, what cups are we gonna use? I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Can you? Is it okay to just be like, I don't want to do this? Well, there should just be a plug and play where it's already set up, and then all they have to do is change at the altar, like the two names. Like, yeah. and then there's a 12 o'clock slot, a, a, a 2 p.m. slot, 6 p.m. slot. I love that. It's just like I a, think that's what Vegas does, right? Probably. Because the ceremony, it's touching. You tear up a little bit. Oh, I tear but, up every time. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, what is that? And I and I know this woman. Yeah, you're like, that's she my sucked current my dick girlfriend. In a fucking, yeah. <laughs> but there's something about it. I'm not going to fucking cry. And every then time. the dad walks out and he's tearing up. And you're like, dude, if the dad's tearing up, who am right. I to not tear up? The moment. That she comes, I don't, I would, I've been to weddings where I don't even know the lady. Yeah. She comes around. Yeah. Tear, dude. The Cause she's hot. What? Cause it's hot outside? Yeah. Okay. Knockers. Why are they <laughs> called, <laughs> why do they call them knockers? Knock, oh, knock, open oh, up. Oh shit. Is it like, what are no knockers or what? What? <laughs> What's a knocker? I, I think know they're it's just like, knocking on the chest. But it's an old term for something. It's Tits. literally for a door knocker yes. in Victorian England. Because oh. it, it has a thing. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. Like you, you open. It's not a. It's not a ding dong, ding dong. It's a little. Uh, it's on the outside. You go. It's like a heavy metal thing. Yeah. You go, and you drop it. Goes, no, bong, I, bong, I know bong. that. But like, oh, how did know. that relate to tits? Maybe they look like Brett, like big. Oh, they kind of do. It's a circle with a. Yeah, yeah. And like, if you if you ever look at like a like an old like eighteen oh six like shopkeep worker woman that like made bread and first of all, motherfuckers used to make pies and put it out in the window. <laughs> I mean, huh? They still do. Birds be like, and then hey! Amer <laughs> and then American pie. Some dude saw that pie and was like, I'm gonna fuck it, it. <laughs> respectfully. Yeah, peaches and cream. 
Cream. Cream. Did you guys Cream. ever? Did you guys ever try to fuck a pie no. or any kind of pastry after that movie? No. Uh, I done. I done looked at pastries differently though. No. What about a vacuum cleaner? I would. F- I'm I would pipe right down t- a vacuum cleaner right now. <laughs> I've definitely put it in there. I don't think I turned it on though. Yeah, I think I got afraid, but wasn't it, wasn't it American Pie where the brother puts his dick in the vacuum cleaner and that seemed like a good idea to me? I put yeah, mine I in the Roomba. Ooh. <laughs> you put crumbs leading up your leg. <laughs> Um, what am I going to say? What but, but say? like, like they, that was an invention, like a knocker on the door. Like, how did they get rid of those? Did somebody like, man, I don't want to install that shit. I got to, and then they just knock themselves. No, they invented doorbells. Yeah, but what, I, what but, I'm, what I'm confused about, maybe this is what you're alluding to. The knocker, use your fucking arm. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think if I was back then. It's crazy we're alive right now, and motherfuckers in the medieval times aren't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, full, like crazy, but... And they didn't think they were going to die. <laughs> like, they were born, and they were 17 years old, and they were playing whatever the fuck. What, the, old what did back they then. do back then? Swords. Throw dirt? Chain mail. But I'm saying, like, for Throw fun. Dirt. Like, for fun? Do you know what I mean? I don't know, but... fight in the street and drink wine when they're 11? Dude, I saw a kid kicking a can down the street maybe like a month ago. No, I was like, didn't. Yeah, swear. In real life. Yeah, I was like, good. Good. That, that's entertainment. His phone is for sure dead. Yeah. but And his dad is too. <laughs> <laughs> but to my point... <laughs> Hello? The knocking Hello, thing... Hello, Fresh! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> insert it. So the knocking thing, yeah. like you said, you're like, if I was back then, I'd be like, bro, I'm too Jewish. I'm not paying for this shit. I'm not at all. Watch this. I don't need to buy one. Oh, use my this fist. This is my knocker. Yeah. I don't- use my wife tits as a knocker. Sick of it, but I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe like people. No, I was gonna say maybe they have their hands full, but like, how do they? They have to. They have to do it. It or, is so funny just to let what? somebody know you just make noises. <laughs> you, you just go up to the door and you. I'm here. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so dumb. It's it's literally what Gigi lets me know when she wants to get out of her house. What does she do? She literally just scrapes her head. Like it's like a prisoner. She goes brr, brr, with her. She's with a her. prisoner of whore. Huh? Because yes. Yeah, you're right. Isn't it? It's so you interesting. You put a sex bill on top of her bed. I did. I don't know where. Oh, it's underneath the bed. It's, it's you not, put it underneath the bed? Well, I moved it because my papa was coming. My dad came. Did he visit. sleep on it? No, I just didn't want a sex pillow out when my dad yeah. is like sleeping in my bed. You know what I mean? You I just, sleeping in your bed? Yeah. What? Where'd you sleep? Uh, on the couch. You should have said the bed with him. Hey, I would have. Making up for missed time. Dude, you slept on the couch. Just plowing my own dad? Your own plate? Well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant like cuddling. Oh. Yeah. Fuck a cuddle. Give me some ass. Sorry, go ahead. You slept on the couch when your dad was visiting? Yeah. That's very nice of you. I don't know if I'd have the heart to do that. What, are you going to put a seven-year-old man on the couch? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I would, I would definitely. No, you say. definitely would. I yeah. mean, I have like a, I have a separate room, but it doesn't have like a, it doesn't have like a, like a full bed. Like I have a blow-up mattress and then like the couch that's in the Dude, office I slept is like on a, a futon. I slept on a blow-up mattress in Miami a couple weeks ago. That shit hits. Hits? Dude! Blow-up mattresses are phenomenal. They're phenomenal. Because what the last time I slept on one was when my dad was visiting. My dad was in the bed. And uh, the my girl and me uh, were sleeping, obviously, at my place. And we weren't going to sleep on the fucking couch because we both don't fit. So we had to have like a pretty big air mattress. Blew it up. And I was like, oh, this is going to be fine. Laid in that bitch. Slept incredible. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. Just molds to your body. Why are mattresses just having, why, like, why aren't they all just air? When are we going to invent tires that don't have air? I think their run flats are kind of like that. Or I forget the reasoning why they, they. They should just don't. be boing, just like a lot of. You think, but like, if you, I think if you burn out long enough, they would just slowly turn into like rectangles, or like triangles. Yeah, but if you burn out, you should, you shouldn't have tires anyways. <laughs> I'm serious, dude. You ever, is it those fucking 19 year olds in the goddamn CVS parking lot? Cool. Yeah. You ever see when they fuck up? That's the funniest. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh. there was one. Uh, Did we watch it on the show? On the show. Somebody recently like burned out into like a high school track in an M4. Good. And then he rolls the window <laughs> up. There's a there's a church down the street and there's there's burnout marks in front of it. Imagine, hey, let's go meet by the church. You can't do that. You're definitely going to hell. Do you believe in hell? Heaven? I believe in heaven, but not hell. That is the most half full answer I've ever heard in my life, and I love it. Yeah, why not? Heaven's great. Hell's not real. So, are you? Do you think you're going to heaven? I hope. I think you're going to heaven. I hope so. I, I feel like you, you know. I think about times where I did something wrong. Where I like one time I sprayed a super soaker into the outgoing mail. That was pretty fucked. It's pretty fucked. That's yeah. a contender for hell. But I will say, my job has made people laugh. Yeah. 
So I'm cutting the line of somebody who works in HR. Your job is to narc on people. Yeah. Send Deborah to fucking bump. Yeah. I mean, as soon as, if I'm doing HR, I'd be the worst person. So HR walk in, is a professional job. Yeah. Hey, don't say that. That's her whole job. That's it. Put your dick away, Timothy. Can't do it. You're not even fired. Just put it away. <laughs> Sick of it. That's what, I mean, a dick should be called a knocker, if anything. A dick looks like a knocker. What was I saying? Mail. How do you feel about getting old mail from people that used to live there? What do you do with it? I put it in a corner, and then about a year later, trash. Yep. Now I, I've started caring less. Yeah, I got. What do you do? I feel bad because sometimes they get like birthday cards and stuff, and I feel bad. So, but I do the same thing. I got about I got about a two week period, and it lives on it lives on my counter, and I put it on the counter, and I go, I'm gonna bring this back to the mail, and I'm gonna put it on top of the mailboxes, uh, blah blah blah. But I never do that. It's two weeks. And the corner of my table is right next to the trash. And then I just go, sloop. It's just so funny how there's no, like, hard cutoff. It's like the second you move out, you think that their mail would stop going to you. Wrong. Hers are none of, like, it's none of, like, re like it's nothing urgent. Like, birthday cards. Oh, it's urgent. Oh, they the, got IRS there's bills shit. building up. Yeah, she's fucked credit-wise, yeah. but, like, there's no, like, birthday cards. There was, there, I, well, right, the reason I'm bringing it up is that literally on the corner of my table right now, I have one birthday card and, like, maybe three notices from the IRS. It's like, first of all, pay your bills. But... Yeah, right. this I, I don't think this lady is um with us anymore because Oh D I E No, because there was a person before me. Okay. And then the person before them oh. was this lady. Oh. What happened, you think? Maybe the IRS got to her. I don't know. Fuck. What happens? I don't is the IRS real. Isn't bankruptcy hilarious? You owe this. No, I don't. Well, the, well, the and then it just goes away. The same thing when we found out that um Getting evict, uh, indicted. What's it called? Impeached? Impeached. Impeached. Yeah. Impeached and bankrupt. There's so much more to the term of it. Yeah. You're bankrupt, but you're still loaded. 50 cent. Hey, I'm bankrupt. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I don't want to get. So many rich people go, I'm bankrupt, but then you're not. But what I think it is, is I think your company's bankrupt, but you're not. That's why you set up a fucking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if somebody were to sue your. Yep. Yeah. I forget how that you, works. You, yeah. I don't forget. I too. Man, That's I'm, what I'm saying. Like a couple episodes ago, <coughs> cough again. No, I think COVID. we're saying like we need to just start over from scratch. There's so many weird yeah. loopholes and caveats. It. It's like the amount of times we put flex seal over a leak and just gone yep. on as America and be like, yep. whole fix, whole fix. IRS, you send me a bill and you go, this is what you owe. And then I go, cool. And then I write you a check. Stop it. Taxes. I honestly, bro, what the frick frick? This is what I want, and maybe I already said this, and I'll say it again, I don't give a heck. I'll pay. I'm all for taxes. I really am. I, I really do Guy think it's a good- Guy evading taxes, for sure. For sure, all my money's in Bermuda. But Bermuda, I mean, but Bahamas, Puerto Rico. Um, but just show me what I'm doing. Something. You had show a, me that I helped. Do you do that joke about the what taxes yeah, pay yeah, for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do it? It's it's in the the new part that I'm trying to work on about the hooker in in uh, in where we go Amsterdam. Oh, you have a bit on that? Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Right. Um, what was I say? Uh, uh, yeah. But I just I just want to know. I just want to know. And here's the thing. <clears throat> Let me ask you this. Yeah, she'd be like, send me a certificate. You know, how they're like, hey, you know, you can buy like a star, not real, but you can be like, oh, you own. And then the coordinates. Mm -hmm. Send me that. I'm dumb. You own a park bench in Vermont. Oh. You're right. Saying. How do you get one of those benches? You have to die. No. Well, somebody has to. Oh, really? Well, it's usually I like in had... memoriam of Seymour. Oh, you're right. It is always. But what about what about like, hey, Michael Blossom is pretty cool, bench. You can do that. But can't I'm asking you, can you, you call you? for that? The comptroller. <laughs> I just found out who this guy is. <laughs> I don't know what he does. I looked it up and now I forget. What is it? He's part of the government. God damn. <clears throat> Guys, stand-up comedy. I'm doing jokes. I'll tell you where. February 29th, I'll be in Milwaukee. Go get tickets. Uh, March 1st to the 2nd, I'll be in Chicago. I think all those shows are sold out, but if they're not, go get tickets. There might be a few left. Guys, March 8th, New York City. What'd I say? March 8th, New York City. Palladium. Go get freaking tickets to New York City. Uh, March 9th, I'll be in Atlanta. First show sold out. We added a second one. Go get tickets. March 10th, I'll be in Charleston, South Carolina. I am so freaking pumped to play this. The, it's like, I this theater's gonna be great. So go get tickets. March 15th, 15th and 16th, Cleveland. I think two out of the three already sold up. We'll go get tickets. And uh, March 29th, I'll be in Portland. We added a show. March 30th, Seattle. We added a show. March 31st, all sold up. Vancouver, I love you. And more dates on my freaking calendar. Blockcomedy.com. That's blockcomedy.com. I love you. Vegas tonight sold out. Coming on Bitch. to the tour in May. We're really firing things off. We just added San Francisco, May 17th love through May point. 19th. Salt Lake City, May 30th to June 1st. Love Miami, 305. BBLs. 
Uh, um, um, sorry, I said BBL's got horny. June 21st through June 23rd, Miami, Florida. Sacramento, June 28th, June 30th. Portland, Oregon, uh, July 25th, July 27th. Uh, Lexington, Kentucky. I'll just fire off the names. Lexington, Kentucky, Nashville, Tennessee, Tempe, Arizona, what? Tampa, Florida. That's all my tour dates from May through September. We're building it up, and then we're going to do a bigger tour. But come see me fucking get this new hour fucking sexy and tight ah! like my asshole. Got my ass eaten again. TrevorWallsComedy.com. God damn. Oh, what's up, dude? This show is sponsored by BetterHelp.com. Um, we are a massive proponent of therapy on Stiff Socks Podcast. I'm in therapy, Trev's in therapy, and it has helped us tremendously on the day-to-day and just, just re-evaluating everything and just getting a better perspective. Um, therapy can be a place to work through the challenges you face, you know, and you don't want to be all on your own, okay? So that's where BetterHelp steps in, dude. And you don't got to go to a freaking therapist's office, dude. You can do it for the comfort of your own home. Home, car, really wherever. I've it's off your phone. I've done it in a car, too. That's great. Um, you can do whatever you want. It's convenient. You don't have to drive down to some weird, stale office that makes you feel more uncomfortable. You can do it with the comfort of your own home. So you feel more comfortable to talk about the things you want to talk about, you know? So, yeah, it's super easy, guys. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist at any time for no additional charge. I have used this, dude. I really, really love this. This whole entire app is the infrastructure is incredible. And the first therapist I had... She was awesome, but just, we didn't match really well, and it was so freaking easy to find a therapist that I love. Um, no and- offense. You just find somebody until it clicks for you. Yeah, yeah. Listen, it's been rainy as fuck out. Everybody's a little down. The weather's down. I'm down. Everybody's sad. Not anymore because I got therapy tonight using betterhelp.com slash socks. Use that code today to get 10% off your first month. Whoa. Betterhelp.com slash socks. Betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash socks. Go find happiness, dude. Find happiness. Promo code yourself. How about that? Yeah. But also socks. Do your socks first, and then you're yourself later. God damn. I don't the know. Government what he, is massive. The government's too many people. Dude, my brother used to work for the government. He tells me they they just bleed money for absolutely no reason. They're the top dogs. What do they care? Dude, they're playing my, with house money. Bro, my house. brother told Hush money company, David. You better come over here, give me a fashion of mama chat. It's just so funny in the meet and greet. Um, these two so nice uh fans of the show. Uh they took out a voice memo and asked me to do hush. And they're like, Can you please do it? That's wanna, so funny. Because they try they try to do it. And they're like, I don't think we can do it. Can you just please do it? And we want to carry around so we can practice. Dude, <laughs> okay. you check your Apple like ringtone alerts are selling for 99 cents. <laughs> You of all people are fucking cease and says take oh, it down. Piss. You were gonna say something before you're like, let me ask you something. Talk Fuck. About taxes. Money. Taxes, where's it go? Money. Where's it go? Right before I said buy Comptroller. a SAR. Controller. Uh your brother works at government. Waste. Bus! Thank you. My brother works for the government. This motherfucker told me that there's not a lot of people that still use Zoom, but his his company, I think it's like six hundred thousand dollars a year to keep the Zoom account going. And not everybody, like Zoom is not, in his estimation, the Zoom is not the best one, but they do it just because uh, there's certain clients that prefer Zoom. So they're just throwing all of that money down the drain to, to fucking Why is just, Zoom so expensive? Zo- Dude, I- or any enterprise thing. That's the fucking the key. If you want to make real bags, do enterprise software that like the government or a big yes. corporation will use. It's fucking bags. It's insane. So how do we do that? What do we do? Relax. Um, it could be, this could be an enterprise come podcast. You know, like if Microsoft enterprise wants to Enterprise like the car rental? Uh, yeah, we could do that too. Get six in every car rental. Let's just have a <laughs> All car rental names are horrendous. Alamo? <laughs> Alamo, you should have died there. What the fuck? Uh, I get horrendous. that reference. Thank God. <laughs> I, li- I literally said it and looked right at Gabe. <laughs> But the second you land and then there's just five rental places, you're all the same in my eyes. What is it? What is happening there? It was like, oh, you got to go with Hertz. You got to go with Alamo. What I don't like is when I get there and then my rental car company is a company I've never heard of. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Or they're what like, is this going to be? Well, it's never the car you wanted. You're like, hey, let me just get a uh, Chevy Malibu. And the guy's like, we see you had Chevy Malibu. 
what if we gave you a truck with way less gas mileage and for an extra fifty dollars a day? Yeah, and they're like, it's only three wheels. You're like, well, how am I going to drive this thing? No, uh, no, I, I hear you. It's it is. It, you're right, dude. It's never the car it's you signed up for. Never the car you because wanted. They don't they don't give you a contract like, hey, we're going to give you a. Ford it's like Focus. in and around. Yep. You'll get this. They go, you have the economy one. It's like when you go to the Las Vegas Strip and they they, they hand out these cards of hot chicks and you're like, is it going to be this chick? And they're no. like, ah. no, she died they, eleven years ago. <laughs> They were friends. Um, what was I going to say? Why, why, why does every time you check in at a hotel at night, the system is down? Bitch! Just have me a date and then It's always down. It's always down. Sorry, sir. The systems are down. What do you mean? What do you mean? Unplug you it have, and plug no, it no, back no, in. Not even that. You have one job as a computer. Yeah. They're using like some Dell monitor. Yeah, the system. Sorry, the system is just down. What? For what? First of all, this system is on a smoke break. Explain to me what the system is. <laughs> that no, oh, you know the what only I thing that's down is a fucking algorithm. What the hell's going on? You know what I? You know what's so funny to me? They do always blame the system. They go, if you need something, to, they go, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's like it's it's the, the, there's not you know there, there's not the system is is compiled in a way where I can't do that. Okay, fix it. The only system that's allowed to be down is system of the down. That's a band. band. I know white people. <laughs> But yeah, that, that happened to me when I was in Texas. I'm checking in at one. There's two people working. Yeah. First of all, too many people at a reception. <laughs> it's like two in the morning. She goes, I can help you out over here. I give her the card. I'm so sorry. It's, it's down right now. It takes like five minutes. And then she goes, you know what? Why don't you just hop over to her desk? And then it it's then her desk is also down. It's the same system. Yeah. Stop. Yep. Dude, I got to fucking date, and this guy was very nice. I don't mean to be mean, but he was so nice because I'm so sorry. Um, I'm having trouble logging in to the system. Stop it. Your password is 123-HOT-DOG. I know it is. <laughs> but, like, can we figure out a way where it's like, hey, if these are down, what's your Venmo? I will Venmo you for the price of the room, and yeah. then we'll go from there. This is what pissed me off. If the system's down... Let me go up to a room. For free. For free? Not even free. Just give me a fucking room. Dude, you and ever- And then figure it out. You know what blows my head- I'm exhausted. Head, what, what blows my head off is- A gun? That does it. Gotcha. That was better. <laughs> it was a pretty sad- <laughs> But <Ba-dum-tsh. laughs> That's how a guy on a cruise is yeah. gonna end it. <laughs> Dude, I was, can't believe you used to do cruise ships. So We were many. just talking about this. John, my editor, shout yeah. out John, is going on a cruise this week. And I was They're like- so hey, fun. I was like- if there's a comedy club, you have to watch for like 10 minutes. Just yes. pop in because they can't do the material they want to do. So they're doing like shrimp cocktail. I don't know that a cock and a tail. <laughs> can't do that. Can't, can't say cock. No. Shrimp He'll cocktail. Like, Bugs Bunny. Whoa, he was a <laughs> Sorry. Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to cut it. That's- <laughs> you, you can just, just bleep the last word. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Gabe has control of our careers. <laughs> Gabe has control of our Dude, careers. That's what I was laughing at. We need blackmail on Gabe. <laughs> say something about the underage kids in your basement. Gabe saying no to cutting something is the funniest thing ever. Okay, so sorry. Uh, you were saying know. John editor a cruise ship, doing stuff he doesn't want to do. The comic. Um, no, I was just saying you did cruise ships. Yeah, crazy. You oh, did yeah. cruise ships. There and was points so in of Stiff Socks where you'd be like, "Hey guys, not gonna have Wi-Fi for the next week." Yeah. Don't got any round of notes. Literally, like a group text. Now look at you. Six sold out shows in Ohio. What the fuck? What is ha- dude? Cruise ships to cruise in Ohio. Our I system is down. System is down. That's a white person band. Guys. Oh, what I was gonna say. Yes. You ever, you ever check in? You go through all the rigmarole. That's a word you That's like mine. to use. And then the key doesn't scan. I'll kick it open. I wish that my leg, you know, you ever seen a cop show where they have that big bedroom and they go, wow, and they open a thing? I wish my leg could turn in one of those when my door doesn't open. Dude, you know how they have a connecting door sometimes? Yep. Mine was just open. Did I say the story? Mine was open. No. Mine was Whoa. open when I got to the room in Kentucky. I get those confused with Connecticut. It was open. But the door, but the door, there's two doors. Mine was yeah. open, but theirs was, was like locked. And I call okay. a friend desk, I'm like, and mine like wasn't locking. And I was like, hey, it's like not locking. And the guy's like, oh yeah, no, you're good because their door locks. And I go, right, but they, they can, can come unlock in. Yep. and come in. And yep. he's trying to explain it to me. <laughs> he's like, no, you're good because theirs is locked. You can lock theirs. I go, no, I can't. Listen, your brain system down. Fucking, <laughs> you're not understanding. No, literally, I'm like, are you in on this? 
Am yeah. I going to get got? There's nothing more eerie than a hotel room at like 3 a.m. I'm like, just lock the fucking door, man. Yeah, I always think that all my valuables are going to be stolen. And no I think I've, my fucking organs are going to get stolen. Dude, if Organs you put, a place. How is it the place and a thing in your body? Dude, what's open sesame? What does what? that mean? What? Yeah. Like yeah. open se What's sesame? Sesame seeds? Open sesame. What's your favorite type of bagel? Everything. It's not even Thank close. Thank God. I had an everything bagel, and then I bought another one. I'm starving. Dude, I found this place in the valley that does gluten-free bagels. You can't even tell. They're better than regular bagels. Like, I'm I'm, I'm hooked on them. I'm addicted to them. Dude. I, I load up weekly. My girl is gluten-free. There's a bagel place right by my place. It's unbelievable, she says. So we should get some bagels together. I as love a unit. bagels. But I love bagels. What the fuck? I can't, hold on, I can't remember. Do you like lox and bagels? Love it. F fuck! Yeah. God, dude, mother fuck bitch. What's your favorite cream cheese? Regular. Oh, okay. Or... What about the ones with, go. The honey one, honey oat, honey wheat, honey, not honey wheat, honey. Uh, honey, honey something, yeah. I've had that before. Something. Do you like cream cheese and chives? Not a big chive guy, but with, but with lox I'll eat it. Oh, do you like white fish salad? No. Never had it or you just don't like it? It's not appealing. But you've never had it? I don't think so. Ooh, I gotta bring something to the studio and give it. Really? It's, it's, fuck it. Anyone, anyone I don't like room? cold, like potato salad esque type. It's not, but it's it's it. It goes on like a spread. It's not like it's not mm. like lumpy, whatever. It's like a spread. Fuck. Anyone have white fish out in here? Dude, lox is one of those things Fresh. where you can just say like market price, and you're like, what? Because what this dude's that? been smoking hookah what is this, for a, a week. Fucking Nasdaq. What is what is it? <laughs> There's a place in Santa Monica. I forget what it was called, but fuck them. It was, it was like, I but went- But fuck them is a great No, because it was too expensive. I want to unshot them uh, out, you yeah, know? Okay. But it was, I, forget, I was going to like an Easter thing or something. And back in the, she was like, oh, can you go get locks? I'll go get the, you know, we're meeting for yep, a thing. Yep, yep. And, I, and, I, and I had cash on me, so I brought like 40 bucks there. Bro, for like, locks for like four people, it was legit like $90. I'm like, what the hell? Are these, are they fucking in the Traeger themselves being like, no, we're good. We're Nine, hold on, for real? It was That's legit, fucking dude, crazy. It was market price. Market price is literally, can we, can, uh, market so, price should be illegal. Yeah, there's so the hey, two. Hey, we're, we're, uh, we're just riffing back here. The two things I would love to look up, Gabriel, if you have a second. What does open sesame mean? And two, how do they set market price? Is it like literally a seafood market? They go there and it's, then they get it and then the seafood market sets the price? Yes. But also- is it set because there's like, if there's not a lot of fishes, then they get raised the fucking rent of a goddamn fish? Yeah, it's like fucking Bitcoin. That's what it's I mean. Up and it's down. Uh, dude, oh, God, dude but, but, you should teach a class. I do. <laughs> but that is so, and what's well, it, really it, just their way to be like, man, do you think- It's gotta be that though. It's gotta be like when, when all the fishermen go, they bring back salmon, and usually that's 8,000 pounds of salmon. They only had 7,000 pounds of salmon. But that's on them. Why do they catch more? Yeah, you're not good at- Oh, so what? <laughs> so Since what, the I, ocean's down? Yeah, so I'm bad ocean's at- Ocean's 11. Where's the other 12? Uh, where? Where'd they go? Open sesame, door knockers. Now <laughs> same things we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but do you think any part of market price is them looking at you be like, bro's got a Versace shirt on, crank it up. 100%. You think? No, but that's funny. It's what gotta if, be there. You guys have been to Seattle, right? You've seen the fish, the fish market? Yeah, they throw fish, stop throwing it. Yeah, they look like they can just tell you fucking whatever. Dude, that fucking yeah. lyric in uh, Colt 45 by Afro Man. F you know the fish market line? You guys know it? No. I it? walked past the fish market. Said, good morning, ladies. It was like about a oh, blind yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Picture the visual. I don't think you guys get it. I Picture a I blind know. man okay. walking past the fish market <laughs> okay. and saying, good morning, ladies. Oh. <laughs> but who is he just talking to? Oh! Pussy! <laughs> yes. Dude, it's literally, can we like play that intro of it? There, he's telling the story and he goes, there's this blind man, right? There's a blind man, right? Walking down past the fish market and he goes, good morning, lady. I mean, honestly, it's very funny. I didn't, I swear, I didn't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. Play it. <laughs> Just the thought of a blind man being alone in front yep. of a fish market going, ladies, is so funny. What, are you going to let him down? 
Yeah, no, you have. You, you have start to, throwing ass on that blind man. I mean, I if I was working the fish market, I'd just throw a fish at him. <laughs> God damn. Super Bowl is this weekend, dude. Is it? And I don't know how you're celebrating, but you might be a little parched. You're too busy watching the game, not worried about being hydrated. How am I going to hydrate? Ask me. How? Liquid IV. Can you tell me what it is? Because I have no idea what liquid IV is. It's a powder, okay, with three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Oh. Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone, all in a single sugar-free stick. Think about a water. What? Double it, same size. Let me tell you something. I use this every freaking morning because I think people forget when you wake up in the morning, you haven't had water for like seven, eight, nine hours. Stupid. You got some good sleep. So you need water. You wake up immediately. I have like take the water out. I throw some liquid IV in it, dude, and I feel incredible. It's just a great way to start today. And I will say people forget also that dehydration mess with your energy, dude. Yeah. So Why are you like, tired when you have your last water? Exactly. Every oh. argument ever had with a girlfriend. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Well, are you thirsty? Have you had water today? Oh, I haven't. Yeah. And then she has liquid IV. Now I'm tired. Boom. I have a headache. Do you need my liquid IV? Not anymore. Hydration. <laughs> and you can do that as well. So one stick again, plus 16 ounces of water, dude. Hydrate is better than water alone. Let me tell you something. Go grab it. We love it. We're on the road all the time. No hotels have water. We don't know why, but all you need is a couple sticks of liquid IV. You're on the way, dude. Rehydrate yourself for the new year. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order. Whether, you know, why don't you do this? Go to liquidiv.com and use code SOCKS at checkout. That is liquidiv.com and use code SOCKS at checkout. 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code SOCKS at liquidiv.com. God damn. What are you about to say? How do blind guys know about like men and women? <laughs> <laughs> Your hands aren't cut off. Honestly, you know what a dick feels. You know what a tit feels like. So you know just, what a vagina feels like. They just go off like? feel, huh? They just go off feel. Like, oh, yeah. I like the way this feels. They're and not about smell, looks, probably. But they're not they about looks. Connection. They're not about yeah. what? They don't. They're know. not about looks. Like they don't. No, know, correct, like, dude. Ray Charles felt women's wrists up and was like, "Hell yeah, hot wrist." Really? Yeah. Dude, I feel like you'd do that. Probably. I, li I like wrists and ankles. I don't know what's wrong with me, man. I don't know what happened. I swear to God. Everyone in my family is pretty normal. My dad's insane, but everyone else is pretty normal. But I li you don't like ankles? Ankle you never once looked at an ankle. What I look if she has fuck? an ankle monitor, but no. True? Yeah. Anyone else like ankles and wrists? Um, I see the appeal. Yeah, oh, okay. I think wrists, ankles, I'm not really. You're down there a lot more than I am. You know Fast. what I mean? Like, Fast. you're yeah, noticing, yeah, yeah. appreciating a lot more. Yeah, but, like, um, you've ever seen, like, a woman in just, like, high heels and their fucking ankles look hot? Like, no, uh, you know what I like is if, if the wrist got, like, a little bit of gold jewelry on it. Look, yeah. Then it's yeah. dainty shit. Yeah. That's and it's cool. Like, and it kind of, like, slides around. Yeah, yeah, slides around. Just, yeah. just a plain you, wrist is, you know, it's like, uh, it's like a scoop of ice cream, but it's like, okay. Yeah. Add, add a little bit of a hot fudge. Bro, Cherry hot fudge Garcia. goes hot, fuck that. Oh, okay. Hot fudge goes crazy. <laughs> hot fudge is insane. You ever have hot, I mean, the answer is yes. Hot fudge and hot caramel. Bitch, I'm a caramel boy. Sorry, what? It's, it's fucking caramel and I'm so sick hot of this. Hot caramel. It's What's caramel. What's the difference between caramel we and caramel? We already figured this out. Who? Who's we? We uh, collectively we, on the podcast. We can do it again if you want, but it's, it's caramel. Like we had a, we had the person say it. I think if it's on a Sunday, it's a caramel. But if it's in a chocolate, as like a sweet caramel. Okay. I think you are no. What are they called uh, at C's? What do they sell? Uh, caramellos. Truffles. Truffles are great. Is that a truffle? I no think, truffles. What are they are called? A, what are they a called? mushroom? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Truffles are mushroom that you what, put on. What is these called? What do they sell? These candy? It's not Chocolate? candy, but they're, they're, they're really called truffles, I think. Oh, I think you might be right. Yeah. No, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, I think C's, they're C's candy. Like, truffles. They're... like, that's their. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think, no, oh, I think yeah, you're chocolate right. Chocolate truffles, you're totally right. Dude, there's no way C's is pulling in back. <laughs> no. <laughs> During the holidays, no, yes. No, I mean, they... oceans definitely. Maybe cut it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see, yeah. Um, I think they rack out. I think they're on that Mariah Carey shit. They rack out on the holidays, and then in April, they're like, yeah. Easter, question Michael mark? Buble? The ladies Michael in the Buble in August? He's in a Dude, fucking he's, cage. He's so loaded. I mean, dumb loaded. Um, what can we can you just tell me what market price is, please? I actually yeah, it's really literally don't know. it's just there's no like it's not like, you know, there's some fish organization that's saying, hey, <laughs> you know, how Yeah, there's no like Dow much. Jones. It's just on the fisherman, but yeah, it's all I caught. Yeah, it's like so like if you're if you run a restaurant, you're buying shit for the kitchen and right. you go down to your fish market and today they're like, oh man, it's this much, then you're upping the price by that. Do much. you think how they never do that for like weed? They use it not that like weed. You could. 
Honestly, if yeah. if you had like a dealer, you could be like, "Hey, man, you know, I got, this is all my guy from so and so had market price." Yeah, isn't, isn't everything essentially all market price because of inflation? So everything is based on market in some capacity. So if yeah, if inflation yeah. goes up, then fucking sh then the burger goes up. So it's all it's just not labeled. Like, it's just, market price is stupid because it says MP and then you just have to fucking ask. I wonder if they do that so they can just, like, also fuck with price. Like, if, we, we remember the story where I got absolutely railed in Dallas by. A man? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it coming. Uh, at Carbone, years ago I went there with the, the, the last lady. And they put market price on a fish. And I'm like, it's a fish. Brands, you know, it can't be too bad. Yes. <laughs> Did I ever tell you this? I don't know, but I'm so nervous. I, I mean, I like... 50 bucks? For Branzino? Everybody say their market price. What do you think? Well, I just looked <clears throat> at the... I can't. All right, Jack, go. I don't even know what Branzino is. The fish. <laughs> Dog, I'm telling you, you have a Liddy, Liberty Bell brain. And it would have been funnier <laughs> if I didn't stumble. Go ahead. Exactly. any fish and make a guess. They got the eyes, right? <laughs> They have the eyes. You cook it with the eyes. You've been eating too many cheesesteaks. Have yeah. you been, have you gone back and redeemed it oh, yet? Yeah. No, not yet. Did you get it? Oh no, you got you gave it to your girl. Yeah. Market price Branzino at a restaurant. Marlon. Oh. Marlon Branzino. <laughs> there we go. Pretty good. Marlon Brando. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Hundred eighty dollars. No. no, I swear all my life. No, hundred eighty dollars. No. But be, but and that's what fucked one eighty. One eighty. I would have shot up the entire restaurant. And in our heads, I wanted. I should have just asked and be like, "Yo, what, in and around, what but is this market price?" But you can't though. But but they have to know. No no no, you can't. Like oh no, you can ask and they do know. But it's so like yeah can, yeah. You why can't, can't well. Can't you, you just be like, yeah, I'm thinking about ordering this fish. It says market price. What is the market price? Yes. But they, don't they, all the servers have a list every day. Of you what it you is. do, but like you uh, feel it feels, I mean, for lack of a better word, it feels cheap of you to ask. Yeah. <clears throat> so you don't ask. But like in my head, we But you like, were with her for a while at that point, right? You feel comfortable asking? Because in the beginning, you yeah, can't. Yeah, no, ask. We, this this was like the long relationship. And yeah. but like in my head, it was more like Oh, let's get a fish. Uh, let's get an appetizer. Let's get a salad. Nope. Uh, maybe a, a chicken. Like, if because I'm looking at the price, all everything else is like yep. if chicken's thirty five dollars, forty bucks. You're like, oh, it's in and around there, hundred eighty. No, I need you to show me the market. I need you to show me the fish. I need you to show me the fisherman so I can shoot him in the head. <laughs> Sick of it. But I just wonder, was every table getting one eighty? Or or do they start at one fifty and they're like, yeah. dude, these dumbasses are paying one fifty. Let's try one sixty. You can just keep upping it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, there's like, or or they just say MP and then the manager goes, do whatever you want, but the minimum is eighty dollars. But any upcharge you get from MP, you keep. I was pissed. Fuck. I fucking. Blew, I'll, that's like that like hurts me to this day. That wasn't an easy credit card. Credit. Put a fucking W in there. That wasn't <laughs> an easy credit card swipe for me. I oh, was yeah. pissed. Pissed. Because you don't know until after you ate, and you're like, ah, oh, you're full. You're like, oh, nice. Hell yeah. No, yeah. we don't need a to-go box. We're staying at a hotel. Give me the fucking to-go box. Give me oh. the waiter. Dude, give me another fish. <laughs> one fish, 180? You know what I think I did? I think I was like, wait, was this one or two fish? 100%. I think I asked the guy. Yeah. 180 is crazy. 180? For a guy that goes. <laughs> and that's maximum what he does. <laughs> he did this three times. Got One eight. fish, blue fish, 100. No. Fishes are stupid, yeah? And I just said fishes. I did it on purpose. I said no one yelled at me. Fishes are dumb. They look at a fucking hook and they go, hell yeah. <laughs> but the funny thing is, their aunts and uncles, Ben Dunn, told them that if they see a net or a fish, don't do that. Well, they can't speak to each other. They, think I, about you mice. Think fish talk? What is this? What is all this shit? You don't think they talk? Uh, there's got to be some. I think they can send... Whales, whales do. I don't think just Dude, a you guys know the loudest. Can. The other day I typed in what's the loudest noise in the world. The loudest noise in the world, decibel wise, is a sperm whale. Yeah, because they'd be coming. Yeah. Um, but isn't that funny? Like that's too that that lets you know that life is a joke. The loudest thing in the world, not a NASA rocket. Nope. A sperm whale. Oh. <laughs> Bro, it's almost twice as loud as a jet engine. How hard is this guy coming? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at the Carnival Cruise all week. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I mean, that's very, very, very loud. 
But thank well, here's the thing. Thank God it's underneath the water. Bro, imagine you're right. But imagine being a fish and that motherfucker swimming up. You're like, dude, I'm so hungry. Whatever. Please don't do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's literally every single time that we're doing this podcast and some stupid idiot on a motorcycle goes by. Stupid spromo idiot. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Speaking of uh, dumb food, market price, um, I think we should, uh, you guys should watch this video and react. Oh, I sent, okay. I, I sent this yeah. over. It's oh. the most infuriating video I've ever seen. And, I'm, I, I'm, and sometimes I see these and I'm like, are they doing this just to piss off the internet? I think the answer is yes, but also she takes a bite at the end, so maybe not. Let's see. But I want a what? fucking food? funnel I'm of chili. Starving. I want a beer bong some chili right I'm now. I'm fucking starving. Can't see anything. Can't see anything. No? No. No. You know what's funny is when electronics don't work and you hit it. You go, Pfft. it sometimes doesn't work though. All right, well, that's. This is my favorite thing to make for game day. Is this sex ed? Start with placing hot dogs into your uncooked cannoli. Do it slower. And put them in a 13 by 9. 13. Now I use some Cock. string cheese. If string cheese slices, is in your recipe, in you should be in jail. Between each People in prison noodle. are gagging. Grab your favorite chili. This is awesome. And top You're the in? Whole thing. in? No. Are you, f dude, this is literally Cover a with pandemic one cup meal. Of water. This will serve to This is like a noodles. pandemic cookout right here. Now, top now I'm out. With mustard. Ew. Water, mustard, diced onion. I'm in. You make no, this I'm in a in. dishwasher. And ketchup. Oh, dude, this is going to be so good. You're fucking lying. No, you I can't. Like you think this is going to be, what is this? With cheddar cheese. Great. I'm so in on this. Cheese, kind of like. mustard, Monterey water. Yeah. You eat Bake this and you, be, you just become a service minutes. employee. Look but at this. When it's done, pull it <laughs> out. You. This is when you work I at a toll booth. Oh, this is what you green eat. Green onions on top. Look at this Grab bite, though. Slice. No, fuck no. Take a bite. No. And enjoy. You guys are crazy. This is that's so easy and so good. No, you that's fucking. It. Dude, that's a lot lizard enchiladas right there. <laughs> <laughs> The the hot dog little peeking out when she cuts. You guys are so the cut no, the reveal. You guys are there was no like cheesy on that. Like that would have been better so if you put like rice in it maybe or nope. like or, or like a base. But just a rogue hot dog and then one rogue noodle. They're not doing anything together. I'm in. You're in. I'm like very in. I think this is gonna be crazy tasty. I'm if make I it tonight. if I was spending multiple nights under an overpass and somebody brought me this, I'd be like fuck yeah. This is great. I'm I'm no. like I'm I'm fucking in on this. I'm in on this. There, no. Yes. Why? Because uh, honestly, all the ingredients, every single one I like, but I You like Skyline Chili? Uh, he was fine. Did you eat there in Ohio? I, I did not know. Really? I don't do anything on the road. I go to my hotel, and I order DoorDash, and I eat. And then I go to sleep, wake up, go to the gym, write, do the shows, come back at four in the morning. Dog, I got back to the Dayton Hotel, too late, no, nothing's open, nothing. I got, so I had to eat what the, what was in the fucking lobby. <laughs> the, the, I've done plenty of those Dog, meals. do you want, I'll tell you what my dinner was. You spend like $38 doing it. Dude, it was a bag of barbecue chips. Market price? Hopefully. <laughs> uh, a soft chocolate chip cookie. Not bad. And, I mean, this is dinner, dude. This is already horrendous. And then... I got uh, pad thai, microwavable pad thai noodles. Ugh. And that's what I had. Honestly, not. It's, it's. Sure. If you ate that at your house, seek help, betterhelp.com. Yeah. Promo code God. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> does somebody have that? On the road, that makes sense. I've, I've had that meal before. There was uh, some hotel that was like connected to the airport and they're like, oh, we don't have any food, but this is how you get to the terminals and there's vending machines there. I legit Ugh, spent like $28 fuck. getting garden salsa chips, uh, uh, a water. I think I got, I think a, 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 like a, something gluten-free, like a, a muffin and yeah. then an iced coffee for the morning. And it was, I mean, dude, oh. and you had to swipe the card every single fucking time. I got like pop chips, nothing of nutrient value. I'm no. like, I'm not adding any protein. Zero. It's just to sort of fill you up, but then you feel like shit in the morning. It's like, because all you're doing is just like sugar and sodium, and then you're going to sleep. Yeah. It's horrendous. You have to take like half a melatonin to sort of go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Do you take melatonin? Not anymore. I, I was, that was on a, doing it for a little, my dreams were crazy. What mm -hmm. was the milligram you were taking? Do you remember? Five, three or five. Okay. I take half of a three, and it, it does, it makes me tired. Yeah. My girl was making fun of me mercilessly because I was taking half and I was and I was like, "Well, it's kicking in." She's like, "Oh, you baby, Drake. kicking it!" Like, ma literally making fun of me. Yeah. She's like, "I I used to take like two tens, and I'm like, well, then you're a drug addict. <laughs> two tens is too many." Yeah, dude, it would or give two fives. I don't know, something like that. Two of the pill, whatever. 
I think- recently I was taking it just to try to, cause I was getting really bad sleep and, um, my dreams were like haunting. Like I would wake up in prison like five times in a row. One time I woke up in prison in my dream and my bunkmate was smoking crack. And I said, how did you get that? And he goes, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. First of all, if you can get crack in prison, you can get McDonald's in prison. What are we doing here? 100%. You're spending all your money on crack? Is it good? Let me try. Is crack that why we're in here? I mean, crack's got to be great. I've actually never tried it. I hear it's phenomenal. It's got to be 10K. <laughs> God damn. I knocked on the door with my freaking cock. You know why? Because I have blue chew. And That's what, is what that? it is. What is it? What is it? What is it? What does it, it do? It is a chewable tablet with the same active ingredients as Viagra huh? and Cialis. And you don't have to worry about, oh, well, it's, it's 9 a.m. I'm about to get cooter at fucking 12 a.m. Maybe I should. No. Take it in the morning. Take it in the afternoon. Take it right before you're about to smash. It is incredible. And I will say, a lot of these younger people are like, bro, but I have no problem with getting my cock card. Oh, yeah? What about round uno? Round dos. two. Oh, you did well on the first time? What about round two? Okay. First word, second and best. Third is one with a treasure chest. I'm talking about hard cocks, people. Bluetooth.com, <laughs> dude. Let me tell you something. We all need it. We all love it. We're big proponents of this. We freaking proponents. love hard cocks, okay? So go to Bluetooth.com, promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. You don't want to go to CVS. You don't want to wait in line at a pharmacy. Get it sent to your house for free when you use our promo code SOCKS at the checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's it. You know, oh, shipping? Oh, the box? Yeah. Well, if you want to get some box, you got to pay for the box. Do it. That's Bluetooth.com, promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Visit Bluetooth.com for more details, important safety information. And we thank Bluetooth for sponsoring the podcast. God damn. Yeah, it just gives me weird dreams. And then I, I wake up from those dreams. I'm like, ha, ha. So it, it does reverse effect of giving me more sleep. Yeah. Because yeah. I wake up like feeling like restless and weird. Dude, literally. Magnesium my- works. Magnesium's what? good. I've been taking what? that lately. Magnesium? Magnesium? Yeah, it helps you sleep, apparently. Isn't that a fucking X, man? Hold up, I'm hard. Magneto, I'm bombing. Um, Leave it in. Uh, you can leave it in. I don't mind <laughs> at all. Um, what was I going to say? So what does magnesium do? Just make it, it magnesium uh, in my head is warm your, milk. Kind of. Shut up. I don't know. It's does like it, rest your organs. It, huh? I don't think Is it a pill? Or are you going Andrew Huberman was talking about it. Was he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think that's where I... There's oh, a bunch he of, can say anything. There's a bunch of shit you can take. He could literally say anything and I would be on board. He's like, all you have to do to live longer is kill a cheetah in the Sahara. I'd be like, well, I gotta get a well, ticket. I, I need one other person to validate me and I'm in. No, but, none. Really? I, no, he but can like, say one thing I'm like, cool. But like, I, I've been hearing a lot about him. Obviously, he's massive and very successful. And his like sleep regimen. I was like, oh, man, I'll try that. And somebody else was like, dude, I just listened to this thing. It's from Andrew. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking in. You're doing it. I'm doing it. Or yep. we're doing it. Magnesium and thionine or something? I don't know. Hmm. But been taking those. I need, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, some nights, dude, I crush a sleep. Sleep ain't shit. I crush it. I and mean, other nights, I'll be waking up at 3 15 in the morning and I get on my phone like an idiot until like five. Yeah. I'm watching fucking Netflix, goddamn docuseries on tennis. I'm like, what am I doing? My eyes are a little bit like bleeding. Then I sort of go to sleep. Then I gotta wake up at seven. Are you, you wearing Brazzers socks? I am, yeah. Those are the most fun socks you've ever wore. There's no way. Dude, Dude, you I have, have tits on your socks. I have socks that have like mellow yellow on them. I have socks that have Oreos on them. I have socks with GG and her hot. When you're doing intercourse, socks on or off? Off. Immediately. Sometimes they're on. You fuck with socks on? Sometimes. Sir. Katie's protection. Yo, socks. Oh, bro. Who my am condoms. I ta- yeah, who am I talking yeah. to about this? Sick of it. Um, Hold on, but you like for real? What? Do you forget to take them off? Sometimes you're so in the, you just get the pants off, you're in the moment. Yeah. I mean, maybe, it's just funny to take your socks off when you're breaked up. <laughs> no, I know, dude. Because the pants, you can kind of like shimmy off, but like, you got to bend down for that. Then dude, you're in a vulnerable position. When you bend down, there's nothing less hot than when you're trying to get your clothes off and you bend down to get your jeans off and you're like hopping and trying, like, I feel like an idiot. Like just, uh, my jeans should know that I'm fitting to fuck and they should just disintegrate. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, taking yeah. off clothes, but taking off a shirt is hot. Cause you can do a shirt hot. One motion. Yeah. But jeans, you got to undo the thing and then take them down and you have to take them like, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. whole thing. Mm-hmm. And then socks are even worse, but you got to take it off. Socks you can kind of like fling off. You do it right. Kind of here. Then you yeah. Dude, sometimes like, taking, oh, are you, uh, when, when you're getting in the sex. Whoa. Yeah. Do you 
do you help the lady take clothes off or do you just like you do you i'll do me and we'll meet in the middle it's kind of Depends. Depends, yeah. Sometimes you get into it. I like I like taking off clothes. Like the women's clothes. It's yeah, fun. Yeah. Take that off. Oh, I don't do well sometimes I do. Fuck. God. See, sometimes they'd be throwing a curveball with a different bra. They'd be hitting the same bra every single time. And then all of a sudden it's got a front undo. And you're like, well, great, now you can witness me do this? Hold on, you see I so don't You can witness I, these nimble fingers? I don't undo the bra. Never have, never will. Don't know. Well, so what do you what do you I take it off? Yeah. I leave it on, and then eventually they go, they take it off, or they just take it off. I never wanted to learn. No, I don't care. I'm 68 years old. I don't give a fuck. It's over. Um, but I I like I like fucking with like the uh, with the woman's like sh um, I fucked this morning, and I left the spaghetti. What, I don't know how to say it, man. What's it? A, a t-shirt with a spaghetti strap? It looks like spaghetti top. Spaghetti top. I don't think it's spaghetti, spaghetti top. tube top. Dude. Spaghetti strap. Spaghetti strap top. I don't know. Spaghetti strap. Spaghetti strap top. Yeah, it looks like yeah, a I t-shirt. Think, I think you can lose the top part. Yeah. Spaghetti strap. Yeah, but no, but it's spaghetti uh, spaghetti straps could be a dress. It's, it's just literally just a spaghetti strap. Yeah, but it's like it's more than that. It's just a, it doesn't fucking matter. I left it on. It's so hot. I like leaving the top on. Not like an oversized, like not like a North Face jacket. Although, but I like to fuck with man. Then one time, yes. Go ahead, sorry. I was gonna say there was a T-shirt of like my merch on it. Yep. I came all over it. I came fast. Did you? I know. I'm fucking around. <laughs> um, you gotta but, get a T-shirt with a mirror on it. Oh, you know, <laughs> you know, it's so fucking funny. There's a a lady in the front row at the Columbus show. Columbus, yeah. And she, I was like fucking around the crowd a little bit, and she like she had your merch on. Oh, really? She, and she That's goes, awesome. look. She goes, look, look, I got Trevor's merch on. And she said it loud enough for everyone here. I go, cool. Get the fuck out. <laughs> no! Was, no! You get no. free tickets for life. No, Good. Was, she was like, literally her and her friend. Oh, that was the Haas uh, ladies. House. Yeah, Haas. Ha. Uh. Yeah, and she wrote she wrote us, uh, like, Stiff Socks as a podcast. She wrote, like, a really nice letter to us. I forgot to bring it in, but it's really sweet. Amazing. We'll yeah. read it on the next episode. Haas. Uh, P.S. You know who's fucks? What? You know who fucks? Me? Yeah, you. Who? Also, uh, you ever heard of this little thing called misconnections? Yeah. Yeah. Do they still do that? I don't know. Modern I, day? There's no way people still go on misconnections and be like, to the lady I saw out front of the Quiznos with one eye. They do. We talked about it like a couple episodes ago. They fucking do. Still? Sure, you'd be surprised. Still? Yeah. Uh, I, I actually, I pulled some up. Uh, I'm going to start leaving these, see if they work. I do think that this might be the solution for you, finding love, you know? Have you ever seen someone in the wild and then wanted to be like, oh, I, I'm... When was the last time you saw someone in the wild yeah, and was like, oh, I fucked up, I didn't talk to her? All the time. But the problem is <laughs> they have to also think that. Correct. Dude, the amount of people that get left on fucking unseen on misconnections, hey, to the hot lady I saw at the dog park. She ain't fucking looking at that shit. I think half of these are probably just like a random, just like a- These uh, are just journal entries. Well, they're journal entries, but I think it's just a random shot in the dark, like, oh, the person that I saw at the grocery store in hopes that someone at the grocery but store saw him. How many people, let's say I'm at the grocery store. I see two women. Yeah. You know what? No, let's, it's one woman, one dude. I see gorgeous women, and I write, to the person I saw, you were stunning. I was wearing this. And then what if the dude hits me? I'd be like, yo, are you talking about me? Maybe. No, you have to, you leave a little hint. You say, like, if it was you, uh, tell me what tattoo you had on your shoulder. What so the like fuck? A, so it's like, this is like a, like a treasure map for pussy. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's too like. Can I ask you this? But real it is kind of fun. Speaking of grocery stores, is so if you saw a lady at the grocery store, you were very attracted to, right? Yeah. She had a bubbly personality. She was just right up your alley in terms of looks. What could she put in her cart that would make you be like, no, no, uh, probably cold beans. You're out on just if she put a can of beans in her in her mm -hmm. thing. Really I would be out if she put a hundred cans of beans in there. It's like, what the fuck is <laughs> let me, happening? Let me think of some. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe just a lot of one thing. If she just put <laughs> like 68 things of cat litter in there, what's happening? <laughs> That's my shoddy. No, it's not. If she put like 60 of them I'm in there. I'm trying to think just like what, 
What's like something fucking? It's just like it's three boxes of hamburger helper and a handle of fucking vodka. A handle of vodka and anything is too much. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think if she got a giant carton of cheese, a handle of vodka, and then like fish food, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I think if she, I think if she asked for a piece of salmon and then said no, I don't need the paper, and then put the salmon just straight in yeah, her yeah, cart, yeah. and then got a jack like a handle of Jack Daniels and some condoms, a handle of like, vodka, yo, and raisin bran. I'm like, pick a lane. Yeah, and then she and Are you we go, don't you want the it? milk? And she goes, no, I used the vodka for milk. Yeah, I think one individual item though. I think maybe she picked up someone's baby that's not hers and put it in the cart. Good. And started running. <laughs> I'm in. She likes adventures. Yeah. What's, but what's one item? She has an empty cart and you look over and you're like, that's so interesting. If she shit about. in the cart. At least she's taking care of it. She that's true. Out. Okay. One, all right, this is a real real answer. Like one item. Um, uh, Mine be what? blue cheese. Just blue cheese Just in a cart. out though on blue cheese? Yeah, because then I'm like, imagine making out blue cheese mouth. You know what, you know what I'd be out on? If she put a jumbo sized vagicil in her, in her oh, Okay, well, yeah, I was going off like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it's like, for me, it's like, uh, what's the shit? The, the hot sauce that every diner has? Tabasco. Tabasco. Okay, the let's add one. That's yeah. a pretty good one. What's, what's like, all right, I'm, I'm being stupid. What's a real one that I'd be like, yo, like uh, a red flag one? You know what I mean? Uh, let's condoms. See. Who's your man? Oh, how about this? <clears throat> Magnum condoms. Huh? They sell those. Can't f no, they don't. Those it's a hoax. Dude, they're out there. No, they're not. They don't fit. Tell me they don't fit. Let's try it next episode. They don't. I I know that they don't fit. I have attempted. I've went into a you fucking went into one? I went into one. Yeah, I went into. Yeah, there was the fucking major D. Uh, <laughs> get it on open table. Um, I went into the bodega and they only had uh, magnums left. So I said, all right, well, it's either I... You guys got zip ties too? I, I literally, please. So zip funny. ties are so funny. It's Get just, handcuffed. It's crazy <laughs> to think... <laughs> it is funny to think that, like, the one thing men have to offer, you can hide. Our penis is hidden at all times. If But if you see, you walk past a nice lady on the street, you can yeah. kind of tell, like, she racked up. She got an ass. Knockers. Not that I look, but you can kind of tell. But like, what a shitty surprise that men give off. I know, it sucks. It's like you go through all this rigmarole, second time I've used that this yep. episode, and you pull the pants down, and bro's hitchhiking. Small cock. 100%. You ever put it's, it's, like a, it's like a white airhead. Yes. That's what dudes' cocks are to women. White airheads. Yeah. You put gray sweatpants on, look in the mirror, and go, where is it? <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna be. This is full honesty, and I I will tell this to the day I die that I do not have a big dick. I every time I do put on sweatpants because I wear I usually wear like gray or black sweatpants on on the plane. Sometimes we go in the bathroom on the plane. You wearing gray sweatpants on the plane? I'll be wearing gray sweatpants. But my point is, the summer, I'm going pee on the on the, the the plane, and I put my gray sweatpants on. I look in the mirror in the bathroom. I go, Yo, this walk back is about to be luxurious for everyone looking. Because sometimes my dick be looking big post sex. Oh, well, you'd be jerking off in airport bathrooms. Yeah, but not even that. Not. I'm just saying, like, sometimes my regular hog in gray sweatpants look pretty nice. And sometimes I don't. But, like, sometimes I'll be like, ooh-wee. I'll be looking, I go, ooh-wee. It's all about the side angle, though. Yes, sir. Front angle, you're like, ah, it's blending in. Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes I, I get racked out. Uh, Misconnections. God damn. Um, this one says, to the woman at the gas station on Lake in Washington in Pasadena, we were each putting gas in our cars, and I thought I saw you smile when you caught me smiling at you. Maybe I'm too old for you, or maybe not. Here's how we know you're too old. You're posting on Craigslist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you are below 33, you're not using this. No. I will say, though, it's written like a fucking, like a Sam I am. You know what I mean? If I saw that you look, and I look that I look. It's Dude. too, like... That LOL at the end, he's, ha, 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 LOL. Yeah, 100%. He has duct tape on him at all times. <laughs> uh, speaking of scary, uh, this next one says, you were working in my yard in Valley Village. Um, I was the older guy in the den watching. The den. I think you knew what I was doing. If I you was hoping you'd come in and join Jesus me. Jesus Christ. Bro, these are all journal entries. Bro, <laughs> if, you have a, if you have a den, you jerk off the Civil War bayonets. 
<laughs> you you have a like a den. Think about someone who'd say, "Oh, meet me in the den." First of all, a den has brown <laughs> carpet, and there's something weird amiss happening in a den. But I love how he goes. I was the older guy. We know. You said a den. Working in the yard. What 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 the hell was this? Like a lemonade stand? <laughs> I don't I don't think so. Hope I don't. Not. But these are. But so how do you respond? You go, yo, I'm the fucking. I'm the, 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 the lawn lady. I don't, I also, he admitted that he was jerking off yeah. in the den. <laughs> yeah. Watching, Dude, these are not watching good. a young man do yard work. Let's read some more of these. Yeah. All right. uh, this one, January 4th, 2024 Six. flight, London, LA. Bro put his seat number. <laughs> yeah. Seat 50A. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is a long shot, but you never know. Uh, you f flew from London to LA, and so did I. You were seated in the last row, row 50A. I was sitting row 49B. You looked gorgeous no. in the with middle. Your blouse showing a sweet decolletage. Decolletage. You know what that word means? Yeah. Riley Reed, Reed, shout out. Uh, I hope we can connect this way, since I would love to know you better. Cannot wait to hear from you. Soon. Bro signs off with the initial, like he's on some Bond shit. First of all, you were one row behind her. Turn around. <laughs> that, but that's the modern day version when like a girl would be like on TikTok, oh my God, my barista John is so hot. Barista, what the, I'm fucking bombing. <laughs> the employee John is so hot. Find him. You found him. Yeah. He's there. Get back in your Kia Soul and drive back to fucking Jamba Juice and say hello. You fucking right. idiot. But like this why dude, do I why do I have to work at Google? Because you are too yeah, fucking but, Bro, it's literally be, hey, all right, so she is diagonal, and you're gonna, now you're being like, oh, okay, she's 15 beat. You're writing those down to, this is what you gotta do. Hey, I'm gonna write a misconnection about you later, so you might as well get on board now. Yeah, it's either, yeah, it's either you read his misconnection or you talk to me face to face. I, I need Whatever happened to, hey, excuse me, I know this is kind of weird to talk in an airplane, but like, honestly, you're beautiful, and I'd just love to get to know you more. Bro, put his fucking flight number in there. BA21, wait, 281. Also, if you're row 50. Well, she's 49. Right, but she I mean, she's 50. But sorry, she wants 49. to be shooting up. She wants to bang the dudes in first class. Well, he well, he's Maybe 49. Maybe business plus. Well, he's 49. Why didn't he lie? Because what do you mean? I think he 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 thinks that she might have saw him. That's what this whole thing is. Like, if you're at a place and in some I'm gonna just start like, posting these and see what hits. Yeah, you could. Like, hey, to the gorgeous girl I saw at Home Depot. That's what I mean. That's what I said earlier. Like, I, they, you can just shoot a big, a big <laughs> net and be like, "Oh, well." Yo, to me. the bad bitch of the Grove, you know who I am. Yeah, to the bad bitch in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do some Miami and say the girl with the BBL that couldn't stop looking at me. I have a yacht. <laughs> this, I have a yacht is literally a pickup line. This one is horny. Uh, this one says, "Tall, lanky, you, tall, lanky handyman who came over to fix my couch." Jack, my couch side hustle. <laughs> My couch broke down again, and I need your broke down again. What is it, a Ford Focus? <laughs> you had the We're right long <laughs> tool, including an extra long leg. After you kicked back and tested the couch and put in the leg, everything worked well. I swallowed. Wait, did well, they fuck? you don't need a misconnection. You sucked his dick. <laughs> yeah, you have there his tax wrapping. There was no missing number. there. You connected. Yeah, there's yeah, there's no yeah. Like you, you literally have his tax wrapping. Handy man's be fucking. I'm gonna do it. Go. We need something fixed. Uh, Show me God. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Also, like you have connection. Like, that's yeah, me. you already connected. This is also a really bad metaphor. They're trying to do like a sexual entendre thing. It doesn't make any sense. You already got the nut. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do one more of these. Uh, yoga girl, yoga pant girl that sat this next so to horny, me at the can't park. Even finish the sentence. <laughs> I was reading in the park where the people bring their dogs, and you sat down next to me. <laughs> you were with your friend though, so I didn't feel like opening a conversation with a group. I could tell you wanted to chat though. This guy hasn't left his house since the housing crisis. <laughs> this guy literally reads comic books <laughs> backwards. This guy's not. I mean. What? I think it should be illegal to go to a park alone. <laughs> I think it, I mean, it almost is. If you go to a park alone, dude. dude, you know what should be illegal for real, and this happens a lot and I don't fucking like it, is when I'm at the dog park, rack of fucking people with dogs, obviously, and then some random fucking idiot comes <laughs> and starts looking at the dog park. Kind of hey, therapeutic? No, leave. <laughs> no, but dude, that's how, first of all, that's how, you, that's how you get your dog stolen. Really? Yeah, dude, people get people their fucking- People fucking yeah. eat dogs yes. in there? Yes, Because, dude, you're fucking, I mean, I, I get, I was going to say- scouting? Bro, scout, because dogs are expensive. Bro. Not yours. Not mine. Well, I she got- She was. Well, she was. But, uh, but yeah, dogs are expensive. You can fucking steal a purebred whatever, blah, 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 but fill in the fucking blank. 
for and then sell it for fucking three thousand dollars. Wow. Get your. Can you imagine? I'm fucking on Instagram and I look up and Gigi's gone. Well, that won't ever happen because you can't pick her up because she's so fat. I beat Actually, everyone you, to it. You've had a lollipop there this whole time. Yeah, I'm gonna. And as soon as this pot gets <laughs> over, I'm gonna pick up and put it right by my mouth. And I'm excited about it. Um, I can't believe that we went to the park in Amsterdam. Yeah. How many people were just out frolicking? People were doing that shit where they like balance on each other. What yeah. is that life? Is that the, are we missing out? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think we are. I don't think we are. I think those people, listen, man, if it, if it brings you joy, fucking rock it out. What are those people doing when there's a, a, a like a rope from tree to tree and the goddamn well, uh, thing? Oh, no, man. When, you know, from, and, and they walk line. on it. Slack line. Is it called a what? Slack line. Slack line? Yeah. Say it. What? I don't know. You're, you're, you said I just, slack I don't, line. I don't, I don't, what's happening? You, what's funny is you have Get to Get a it. fucking baseball mitt and a baseball and play <laughs> fucking catch. Well, the funny thing about slack lining is you have to do it in public. You can't do it in your apartment. You know what's so funny is when you walk into an apartment and there's a goddamn pole. Not your part. Sorry, pool? Into, yeah. You I've see that a lot? Into, I've probably seen it five times. Where you walk in and you're, there's a, literally a fucking pole. I never trust those poles. No. I'm like, who installed this? You did? No, the task driver dude got throated. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're a task driver, that's the last thing you want to do is come and then read misconnections. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's no way. God, do you ever think a task written has been written about in, uh, any of us? No. Not me, I don't think maybe. so. Maybe. Oh, maybe. I don't know. But you know what's funny is our misconnections, they just, I mean, people just send DMs. They'd be like, oh, I saw you at the Starbucks. Right. My student never say hello. But blah, 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 I'm blah. saying they have no idea your name. They have no idea you do uh, comedy. Yeah, like okay. you were just at a Starbucks. Um, and it's like maybe. to the boy holding his dog like a bottle of wine at the Starbucks yeah. yelling about the prices. Yeah, I got a triple espresso and he said, this is not enough coffee. <laughs> I wonder um, if anybody's ever left a misconnection just talk shit. To the guy in line at Starbucks, you smell terrible, you're an idiot, you're dumb, you had a stupid order. 100%. I mean, 100%. That's, yeah, I mean, that that exists. Dude, I wanna, I, you know what I want to do? I want to meet people. I want to talk to people who met on Misconnection. That's what I want to do. Yeah. love to talk to people. Like, how the fuck? Because, like, how, Gabe, can you look real quick, like, on Misconnections, bro? Like, how many are just today? Do Are they, are there, me, are there, like, recent ones? Yeah, let's see. Um... This is just, this is all of Los Angeles. Yeah. There are oh, like a lot? 30, 30 posts so far today. It's and it's only much. three o'clock. But I don't know, man. Pretty 30 lonely. is a lot. 30 is more than I thought there was going to be. Out of all of Los Angeles? Yeah. LA is like 8 million people. I don't know. But I mean, but I don't know. I think 30 is a lot. How yeah, many, I, I was surprised me, how let, I, Me too. I thought it was How many two. of those 30 were posted from a public library? 93% <laughs> of it. Dude, if you Google anything in a public library, Scan them. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I've already said it before, but if you walk to me and ask me what time it is, get away. <laughs> that was at Best Buy. By, I, I didn't say it. I think it was reason. I was at Best Buy, and there's a computer, and a guy was Googling George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you something? When you're checking to see if the Wi-Fi is working, what do you oh, – is there a website you always just type in to see if – Google. Google? Or, I, or I just type in a bunch yeah, of random Google. shit. What's yours? Google. What's yours? Yeah, Google. You yeah. should be Yahoo. No, mine's fucking NBA.com. I don't know why. <laughs> makes sense. That's my, honestly, every, my I, NBA.com. That makes sense because like, I feel like Google sometimes even works when it's not yes, even Wi-Fi. Yes, because I feel like it's already preloaded. Yeah. I don't NBA know is good. They still have games from 04. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. No, I don't think the NBA has any. Joke whatever. bombed. I was saying the internet didn't work since 04. <laughs> and what so when you hit it, it was... Did... Did, Eisenhower. Uh, Eisenhower. He's a president. Was Eisenhower the one that didn't have legs? Someone got tuberculosis and didn't have legs. <laughs> None of that's right, but there's one president that got some disease, and he was, he... I think it was FDR. If FDR. You have a, if you have a disease named after you, pissed or happy? Lou pissed. Gehrig's. My man's pissed because he has Lou Gehrig's. Pissed. I guess I'd want it named. If I already have it, I'd want it named after. You me. know what I'd be pissed if I was a scientist who discovered a disease. It was called like Hodgkin's labaduba, whatever, mm -hmm. and I named it. And then some other fucking famous person got it, and all of a sudden it's that disease. Hollywood, no, baby. No, that is true. No, 
I discovered yeah. this shit. I sat in my dad's basement looking at petri dishes for 13 years. Yeah. I would love to interview a scientist and be like, how much of this is really beakers and lab coats? Or is it just you riffing in the basement? No, now it's fucking Huberman on a podcast. That's what a scientist is. Yelling about COVID. Well, this is a science podcast. It is also COVID happened. The pandemic. That, that wasn't fake. That was real. We stayed in our homes. Do you remember this? People were wiping down groceries. Yeah. I was just talking to somebody about this yesterday, doing stand-up shows over Zoom. Yes. Did you ever do those? I did two or three. Wow, I did zero. Really? I hate well, they were ones that were like, oh, they the, built an audience. What are we talking about? We did them together. I'm the dumbest man ever. Remember we did a college? You and I did them together. I, I hosted it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, those were great. Well, there was stand-up, and then there was Q&A on the colleges. Those, the Q&As were great. But I'm telling you, stand-up, stand-up. Chocolate Sundays, they're at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, they yeah. did it, and I did it like twice, and there's like 100 people on the Zoom. And you're like, it, it was good. It was weird. I didn't want to do it. And then you do it, and you're like, dude, that was the most endorphins I felt in a minute. But then you're just in your house. Were you holding your, like, uh, like a hairbrush? I think so. Shut I, up. Uh, not, no, I, I had a mic. So I was holding it as like a prop. Oh, just okay. it, it wasn't real. plugged in, though. Just because it felt real. No. Oh, okay. But, like... That's hilarious. I think I addressed it. Yeah. But but afterwards, you have you have the same, like, offstage endorphins. Not merely, but you have some of, of it. Of course. And you're, like, walking in the kitchen. You're like, so nobody's going to fucking round of applause? Nobody's going to suck me off after Zero. that fucking closer? Look at this dude. Yeah. Sick it's funny it. to just do a set, and then you're just in a room. Well, that happens all of the time. You do a set. You have a great set. Meet and greet. Everything's great. And then you close the door, and you're alone in an Airbnb. What Sad. the hell? I think they're eating fucking barbecue chips in a fucking Hilton. Could be on a cruise. Honestly, true. It's Call time. No time to beat my meat out. Let's do a sock talk about uh, beating your meat out. Um, Let's do it. On it. Uh, Daniel wrote in after last week's episode, um, uh, referring. Uh, we talked briefly about that tip of my penis subreddit, where like when you can't find a porn and you can post it on Reddit and someone will find it for you. Mm, that's great. Um, and he pointed out that there's this incredible post on there um, and said he wanted you guys to to get your reaction on it. So this guy posts on tip of my penis and he says the best body I have ever seen. Paint art inside. Fuck. Basically, I'm the heard. story goes. He saw this video. He can't find it again. He knows that in the video, it's a Caucasian girl with black hair. She's fully naked, but only wearing white socks. Caucasian is hilarious. <laughs> Caucasian is too much. You say Caucasian. It's too fancy for what it is. You, you say Caucasian when you're wearing like a, those white wigs and like voting on shit yeah. in like 1506. That it's but just, the fact that I can look at you and be like, yo, you're Caucasian. Crazy. Dude. We don't deserve that. When, 100%. We barely deserve white. What, what I'm saying is, you know on the, what do they call when you check Caucasian? Fucking, what are they called? Censuses? Mm -hmm. Cens census? Whatever. First yeah. of all. Celsius? Those are so good. Uh, Caucasian's just insane. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, so um, he has all, this is all the stuff that he remembers about the video. And then he says, I also um, script. So he said, that ho hopefully this helps. And he drew these um Microsoft Paint images of the the two scenes that he was trying to find. <laughs> Bro, this looks like some fucking kid made this on his iPad at Applebee's. <laughs> this is why people have too much time. I'm gonna be honest. I I'm into this. I can jerk off this. Is that the Lana Rhodes video? Bro, Jack knows this. If I know this all the time, dude. If you head, know this, crazy. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> what what does it say? A hall hall what on top hall, of that? Hallway. He's just saying that this this was shot in front of a hallway. So now, spoiler alert. The freaks on Reddit were able to locate the video from those drawings. Wow. Um, where is from it? those drawings? From those drawings. It looked like a cat grew thumbs and did that. We won't put this on the actual podcast, but I'll just show you guys. See yeah, we will. His, Patreon. Uh, his, Someone sent me his link, though, for real. Oh, is what? Video is no longer available. Fuck! Fuck. What? I'm pissed. Uh, Found uh, video. uh, go, go. Megan Marie. Click that video. This or, one? Or, yeah, click any video. <laughs> <laughs> click a link. This is Trev's alley, bro. Yeah. So that's even crazier that this was just like an OnlyFans video that these that his drawings were someone was able to find. Yeah, do you have airdrop on? <laughs> Who the hell's in the background? This is just another average day in a Miami apartment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please yeah. cut this off. Um, we'll so yeah, that's Jerk off in a Piquito Moss. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that's insane. So then you do one picture... And the internet just finds it. We should do one. We should do it. I was just thinking we should, that. Listen, we should make one up and then see what they find. 
Yeah. Get Woman, Spider-Man it. costume, eating a bagel on, you know what I mean? Some crazy. But, like, this is no different than when they're doing, like, police sketches to, like, find somebody and then they find <laughs> it. The problem is when people are looking for police sketches, they're not horny. If you give a horny man directions, they'll do it. Yeah. Well, I guess. But when I'm horny, my brain's foggy. Right. But but let's say you're horned up. Yeah. And your girl is like, hey, we can do this. But I need you to get me a cotton candy grape that is dark blue right now. What are you doing? If she says right now, I'm out. If she says, please, let's do it. But like, you know? Yeah. Like, think about the lengths you'll go, at least myself personally, if you see a hot chick and you're like, she got to be on Reddit. And you're like, Pff, no, no. Maybe no, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I'm I am the opposite. If it if there's any friction in, in the search, I'm out. Really? But it's like rewarding to be like, yo, I know she got that OF link out there somewhere. No, but I don't want to break into the Pentagon, the pussy gun. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but it's not even it's 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 more rewarding when you get there. That's like you. my version of like, you know, like I guess edging because it's like there's buildup and there's yeah. suspense. Maybe I'm just not good at it, like a good researcher. So I'll like come over I, one night. Please. All right. So you just search and search and search for the OF but, link. But you got to understand, I don't go on these searches often. It, it'll be like I stumble across some, like, hot chick's Instagram, and I'm like, what that link doing in your bio? Word. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you don't got tour dates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. That's a website that starts with an O that I've seen before. Huh. Yeah. If they're on there, maybe they're leaked somewhere else. Yeah. And then you type it in, and then it's like, Oh, you get a bite. You go to a website. Ah, they don't got it anymore. They Then some guy comments like, oh, we have it over here. And then you click there. But then you're just like, you're locked in. And then you finally find it. You're like, alas. Yeah. The great I, white buffalo. I think that your that search does sound fun. But I, I think I just get too, uh, yeah. The moment that I'm like, it's too, I'm out. My patience on that is like very, very thin. But I hear the reward, and I hear, I understand, like, the journey really? to find you, you it. You strike me as a guy who would want that, too. Nah. I, I just, it's, I, I don't, I definitely want the link, for sure. Yeah, but, but the but journey is something that doesn't, doesn't appeal that to me at all. build up the more, like, that way when you finally hit the town, the fap town, you just more rewarding? The fap town's great, but the, the middle section where I have to become a coder, I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the geek squad. Do you know what I mean? I don't, that no, but, part but, of but, it. No, but, but, but I'm not either, but, like, that's when you feel... Like accomplished. Yeah, but then I gotta read stuff. I just I when I'm when I'm rock hard and horned up, I'm gonna get semen out. I don't wanna work for Best Buy. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but for me, I guess I'm not there fully. It's like, oh. oh, we got one link. Oh, we got another link, and we're building up. Oh. We're charging up like a halo gun. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That makes total sense. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, yeah. Makes sense. I mean, you edge yourself to a toaster. I don't know what else. <laughs> I mean, dude, edging is so fire. I tried to edge myself today, couldn't. I was like, I got, I got to get it out. Have to. Anything crazy this morning? Any plugs? Any vibes? There was a plug in my butt. Not all the way. Not a butt plug. You guys are freaking out. I would have opened with that if that happened this morning. But just some fingers. I was in missionary and then some fingers, and I just, I tried to edge myself, but I was like, I, this is, this is happening right now. It feels like when a dam is trying to hold up a bunch of water, and sometimes yeah. there's, there's, sometimes there's a crack in the dam. And you're just like, this is, I can try to make this work, but I just, it's, it's our, I'm already, I'm, the threshold, I'm already past it. Yeah. I can keep like doing four pumps and stopping. But that's what's four, funny about like, the but, condom is in a condom, you finish in the condom, you got like three extra pumps. Yeah. Like she's going to remember that. She's not. There's, it's not like there's a threshold where you hit where she's like, all right, you hit your fucking 48 pump maximum. But sometimes you come and then can keep going. I can't. It's like I got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's but that is that's I that's one of my favorite things to do to come to come and then like keep going and then she comes, fuck. But I only have about a I, I literally have about a minute. Like did my in my dick goes to completely yeah. limp. Uh all right guys, Secret Stock Anonymous submission says uh, I had to stop mid thrust during a recent one night stand because we made direct eye contact and her eyes reminded me of my dad's. <laughs> mm. You have a dad? Mm. Um, that's hilarious. Her eyes reminded. How him bright of his was it in dad? that room? Turn the lights off. You're a big Switch lights position. off guy. I like a light on. I like, I like a sex light on. I like mood light on. You know what the perfect light to fuck to is that the Roku moon? screen. You're right. That Roku purple. Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. 
You know what I fucked you recently? Uh, the fire. What? The fire. Oh, oh on like YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the fire. Well, the, I have a Samsung TV and it has like built in fire. Whatever the fuck. There's a channel. Yeah. You know how you get free channels on TVs now? Mm -hmm. And it's like freebie. It's like one channel is just only wild I mean. and out. There's oh, a no. full channel that's just yeah. dedicated to fire. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. But here's the thing. I, I've never done is it. Is that not hilarious? I, I know. It's Fireplace so is just racking in residuals for you, doing this. No. You know what's absolutely funny? Is this channel has fucking ads. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a commercial. Yeah. Yeah, that just what? happened to me. I was Pissed. sleeping last night with the rain, <laughs> yeah. and a fucking commercial came on in the Don't middle of that. some bullshit. I'm telling you guys, I've said it before. I want to have one of those. It's in the title. I turned the comments off. The title is 10 Hours of White Noise with One Randomly Placed Gunshot. <laughs> it's not bad. And then whoever hears a gunshot first gets a golden ticket and come to your house and blow you. I'm going to make that. All right. Um, and then I'm going to put tour dates at the end. <laughs> 10 hours of white noise, but I shamelessly plug my tour dates twice. What are you saying? You, the fireplace fucking, or you just had them on? No, well, I love I, the ambience on I got two, I got two, re, uh, two things. The reason I brought this up was one, I never really have it. Well, I never really had a, um, a TV Dad? in my room, but long story short, there's a TV in my fucking room and I miss what you said and I'm pissed. So, um, but I not paying attention, Gabe, now you're on the podcast. So I... <laughs> So I I never had a TV guy. in my room, um, but, but now there's a TV in my room. Whatever, great story. I might go cool, but I I never had never do the fire thing. So I'll be mean, sometimes going. To, I went. I put it on to just go to sleep with it. It feels hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. A little little placebo effect. Yeah, I get it. It's a little hot, and then I finally went to sleep. And uh, no, that's not the point. Oh, ambient light. That's and it's that's a good ambient light. Yeah. I know you like the Roku screen, but. The crackle and then a little yeah, bit of that fire light. out the face. And it's more yeah. red, sexual tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it's like moving a little bit. Dude, my TV doesn't even play TV. I just uh, turn it on and then eventually it goes to a screensaver. And then it's just different photos of like Switzerland. And you're like, this is kind of nice. And it's it's kind of nice. It's got a clock in the corner. That is nice. Dude, TVs used to be so cool. Now they're just fucking menus at kebab shops. That's literally it. <laughs> That's literally it. Like a TV, like fl but flat like, screen TV used to be so sick. But like now, you like that TV used to be like four thousand dollars. Now it's literally thirty eight dollars and shows us where we reads our ads from. That's literally it. You That's can hold job. You can go into a Best Buy, hand someone a fish fillet, <laughs> they hand you a TV. <laughs> <laughs> but like it. when they're vertical at a restaurant, they're always vertical for the menu. Yeah. I'm like, damn, you think he's pissed? He's like, oh man, watch a Blu-ray on me. Yeah. I used to play Sopranos. Now look at this. Fucking chicken shawarma. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so good right now. I am so hungry. Where's where our food? Fucks the food. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a podcast. That's a great podcast. It was. And I'm not biased. I Grant, am. Do we even talk about sex at all? A little yeah, bit. I don't even think once. This is a good one. We did. I got finger blasted. My ass. That was cum. Guys, that's it. Thank you so much for being part of this gosh darn show. Um, uh, oh, friend Romano, we have a freaking Patreon. Uh, Patreon. Four extra episodes drops every Friday, ad free, patreon.com backslash Sif Sucks Pod. Um, if you want an extra episode of that Fire Cum podcast, get on that. Um, anyway, tell a friend. And uh, till next Wednesday, we love you guys. And come see Mr. Wallace and Mr. Blotz on a tour. That is it. We love you. Bye. And got a big old dick. Hi.